This is the lecture on Julia Driver's article, Caesar's Wife, on the moral significance of appearing good. So there are not a lot of things to talk about before you read the article, just some vocabulary terms that I wanted to cover because they're big topics in morality, which is uh, the topic in philosophy that this article falls under, just like the Midgley article that we read earlier. So first, we'll start with utilitarianism, which shows up on page 3. 36 somewhere uh yeah the utilitarian would hold blah 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 you williams complains the utilitarian with blah 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 so who are utilitarians so utilitarianism is a moral theory it's a theory about what is good uh what is bad things like this and specifically utilitarianism says what is morally good is promoting or maximizing utility and what is utility? Well, there's various ideas, but the basic thought is utility is something like pleasure, so good feelings, good sensations, or other utilitarians say it's a desire satisfaction. So utility is when your desires are satisfied. And so utilitarianism is a moral theory that says the morally good thing to do is to promote pleasure for everybody, the maximum amount of pleasure, in fact, the most possible pleasure for the entire creation, or the most possible satisfied desires. So that's a sort of moral theory. It talks about what is good. Is it the right moral theory? Good question. You can take an ethics class and we can debate quite a bit about this. But that's a kind of moral theory. It says we should promote maximum utility, and that's what makes somebody a good person, promoting maximum utility, and you're a bad person if you're not promoting maximum utility. Next topic, consequentialism. So that comes up all over the article. Um, maybe the earliest is on page 340, somewhere. Uh, yeah, consequentialism. And uh, it comes up in the rest of the article too. So what is consequentialism? Consequentialism is also a kind of moral theory and in fact, utilitarianism is a kind of consequentialism. It's a subset of consequentialism. So consequentialism says morality depends entirely on the consequences. So good or bad, right and wrong, depends entirely on the outcome of something. So what is a good action? The one that promotes good consequences. If you're a utilitarian, good consequences are more utility. And then what is bad? Something that leads to bad consequences. So that's a sort of set of moral theories. The most popular kind of consequentialism is utilitarianism, but you could have a different kind of consequentialism. You could say the important consequences are, uh, you know, serving some god, and so what's morally good is whatever serves the god. Or you could say other consequences matter. So you don't have to be a utilitarian if you're a consequentialist, but all utilitarians are consequentialists, because all utilitarians think that what matters is utility, and that's the sort of consequence they care about. So utilitarianism is a kind of moral theory. It's a sort of consequentialism. It's contrasted with uh, another vocabulary term that comes up in this article, which, which is deontology. Um, so as Driver points out, she says, my account of blah, blah, blah is obviously consequentialist. So we're going to get a consequentialist approach to morality in this article. But there are other approaches to morality, and one of those is deontology. And as Driver points out, deontology famously maintains that immorality is not exhausted by consequences. So a deontologist is somebody who thinks morality doesn't depend entirely on consequences. There are some things that are morally good or morally bad, sort of not because of the consequences they lead to, but for some other reason. What could those reasons be? Well. It depends based on what kind of deontologist you are. Driver talks a little bit in this article about Kant, Immanuel Kant. He's a philosopher and he's a deontologist. He thinks that certain actions are wrong or certain reasons for actions are wrong. Uh, something like lying to somebody or murdering somebody. These are wrong even if they lead to good consequences because they're just morally bad on their own besides the consequences they might lead to. 
So a deontologist is somebody who thinks there's more to morality than just the consequences. This is often dramatized in this sort of classic example of uh, like an unwilling organ donor. So imagine that I could painlessly kill you and take all your organs and donate them to five people in need of organs. And these five people are gonna die if they don't get your organs. You're a really good donor for them. So should we do this? Now it looks like, plausibly speaking, uh, this might maximize good consequences. It might maximize utility even if we chop you up and give your organs to five people. Why? Because it's sort of five deaths versus one death, uh, assuming they're going to live happy lives and assuming you would have lived a happy life. You know, it's, you know, five people getting pleasure versus one person getting pleasure or five people satisfying their desires versus one person. So five versus one, look, the numbers say it's time to chop you up and give your organs to people. So that's the sort of utilitarian approach. And one reason people sometimes lean in the direction of deontology is they say, no, that, I don't know about that. Even if this would promote utility, it's unjust or unfair to kill an innocent person just for the sake of promoting utility. So this is one classic debate between utilitarians and deontologists. And so what we say about this, you know, there's, there's lots of things to say. That's a classic uh, moral question. It's not the topic of this article, but it helps you sort of think about these uh, uh, the th theories and how they match up against each other. If you want, you can try to think of other things that maybe could promote utility, but which maybe sound objectionable and which might push you in the direction of deontology. So that's a good project sort of for on your own.